What is up everyone, Toad here, back again with another video, and a common question that a bunch of my friends have asked me is how to start a YouTube channel, because I've been doing this for almost four years now, and a bunch of my friends were wondering how they could start a YouTube channel because they wanted to try and pursue a career in gaming on YouTube. And so, if that is you, then this is the video for you. I'll be going over a bunch of main points to keep in mind, and I'll leave timestamps on screen, so... If you only need help with a certain part of making YouTube videos, then you can just skip ahead to that part of the video, no problem. So, yeah, if you do enjoy, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I post a video every single week, sometimes even daily. So, if you like Siege content or just any content, I'll be uploading on this channel. So, let's get on with some tips and tricks. So, when starting off a Siege YouTube channel, or just any YouTube channel for that matter, you have to decide what type of content that you are going to make. Me, personally, I make Siege tips and tricks videos, and I just make Siege montages and stuff like that. I also plan on doing some Among Us content. So, that's going to be the example that I'm going to be using in this video, but of course, you can have any type of content. It doesn't just have to be Siege content. And once you decide what you're going to make, I recommend uploading 10 videos that are completely unedited, that are low quality. Now, the reason I say this is because you want to first go off of the criticism that you get and the compliments that you get and learn from those videos. See how they do and then work from that. Then edit your videos and so on and so forth. Like for instance, me, I started off with really low quality videos and then starting like a couple months afterwards, I started using OBS Studios on my PC to record Minecraft gameplay. And now I stream on Twitch where I download the clips and do it that way in really high quality. Now, of course, me, I use really high quality softwares that cost a ton of money, but I personally prefer that. Uh, maybe you can't afford it so if you can't afford it don't feel like you have to use really high quality software to make youtube videos me i use filmora but any software is fine it's all based on what you can afford and what you can work off of and some other good things that i recommend is once you start your youtube channel i recommend making a channel trailer and what i mean by that is just making a really short video Sort of like how they would for a movie, where it gives you the general idea of your channel. And not to really spoil the videos, because if you spoil the videos, then people don't really feel a need to watch them. But make a channel trailer and decide what you're going to upload. Of course, you can upload whatever you want, but I recommend setting a schedule and a certain theme because those tend to do better if they understand what your channel is and what you're going to be uploading. Another tip that you would want to work on is your personality. Personality on YouTube channels are key because people mainly watch you for your personality. Like, for instance, if you're funny, people are more likely to watch you than if you were extremely boring and don't know what you're doing or just talking really slow. Like, for instance, me! I'm extremely boring and hard to watch, so the fact that you made it this far is surprising. But actually, all jokes aside, your personality is key. If there's one thing that I recommend working on, it's always your personality because that's what people watch you for, not your skill, not how you play, your personality. Well, sure, skill is very important in YouTube. It's not as important as your personality. So work on some jokes to be very funny. And uh, if you make people laugh, chances are they'll subscribe to you. The chances are definitely higher than if you were to be very boring as a YouTuber. Another tip that I have for you is put out content that people actually want, not the content that you want, and listen to your viewers. This is something that I do a lot on my Instagram, where I put out polls on my Instagram, give them two options as to what video I should put out, and uh, the most voted one is the one that I'll put out. So, I mainly listen to what the viewers want, because if you want to get big on YouTube, you gotta 
take risks and put out what the viewers want, not necessarily what you want. Well, sure, every once in a while, putting out something that you want is okay. You also have to listen to the viewers, because viewers aren't numbers. Subscribers aren't just numbers. They're actual human beings, and if you treat them like numbers, chances are they'll just not want to even uh, listen to what you have to say. Chances are they will stop watching you and unsubscribe. So always put your fans before yourself, because the entertainment is key. So if you can entertain your viewers with what they want, rather than what you want to put out, you're more likely to have a more successful YouTube channel than with people who just upload what they want without listening to their fans. I'm not saying put out only content that your fans would want, but I'm just saying to put out majority of your content that your fans would want. You could still upload content that you want, but at the same time, listening to your fans and taking suggestions and liking your comments will show that you're not treating them like digits, rather than instead treating them like actual people. Another thing that great YouTubers do is being consistent with their uploads. You always want to make sure that your uploads are consistent so your fans know when you are going to upload. A good YouTuber uploads every single week, maybe even every other day or every single day. Because as long as they are consistent and not just uploading, okay, I'm gonna upload today and then wait a month to upload another video, then upload a week that from then, like, no, you need a schedule, you need to be consistent, or else your fans aren't going to watch you. So, n keep that in mind. Another thing I will say is that good YouTubers are more successful when they upload every single day. Like, for me, I gained 50 subscribers in a single week when I uploaded every single day, when I returned for a week. And uh, the fans really enjoyed when I uploaded once a day for an entire week because they had tons of content. So remember that when uploading YouTube videos. And at the same time, I see a lot of new YouTubers being mad when they're not getting views. YouTube isn't a competition. YouTube is a career. And just starting out, you shouldn't expect to have, like, 50,000 views in your first ever video. That's just really hard to happen. So, I just have to say, always, always uh, keep a good mindset when uploading as well, because just because um, you don't get a good amount of views in the first video doesn't mean that your channel sucks. It's just starting out. The final tip I have for you guys is have fun. YouTube is meant to be fun and a fun career, and if you're not finding any enjoyment in making YouTube videos, then maybe YouTube isn't the career for you. Who knows? But if you don't find enjoyment in it, maybe just take a break. Like, for me, I got a ton of hate comments, and I was really discouraged in myself, and I felt like I was a really bad YouTuber, so I took a break, and I came back with more videos and got so much support. There are always going to be people out there to support you, so don't get discouraged when someone leaves a hate comment. And honestly, if someone leaves a hate comment, you know you're a good YouTuber, because all the great celebrities have haters. So know that. Now, that's going to be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy, do remember to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And who knows, I might just decide to make a part two to this series. If you guys really enjoy it, drop a comment down below asking for it, and I will make it for you guys. So, hopefully these tips help you out a lot, and I will talk to you later. I hope to see you guys on YouTube very soon.